One of the girls said, I love Jesus because I need him. I feel like that stuck with me because I was like, wow, that's amazing for such a small child to have that mindset that she wants Jesus in her life because she needs him. I wish that everybody had that mindset, you know, or just reminding themselves why I'm following Jesus, why I love him, because I need him in my life, you know, to either change me, to transform me, and you know, like our theme, or because, you know, we love him. I was a kid that was really difficult last year. I wasn't here, but like everyone was telling me, like you gotta be wary of him because he's kind of a, a troublemaker. But this year, he's actually my best kid. He's learning a lot. He rededicated himself last night, and it's great to see him grow. I enjoy challenges, but like this group is very challenging, and it's just encouraging to see a few of them just stand out. And in my head, I was like, this is the Holy Spirit trying to encourage me. One of the things I always do is I share my testimony, and I have everybody who's an adult in there, or team staff, share theirs. And I noticed one young lady who was very emotional, and I could tell that she was just absorbing everything. So after we all got done, I noticed she went outside to um, get a little breath of fresh air. And I came out, and I sat down beside her, and she goes, well, I'm just really confused about what all of this is, and." She thought it was not good to be confused. I said, you don't have to worry about that. God will take care of it. And so I caught up with her this morning. I said, how are you feeling? She said, great this morning. So I think she's really starting to seep it in, and hopefully it'll grow and continue. Seven years ago, when I worked here for Junior High Week, she was my camper. She accepted Christ on the dedication night. I was the one that was able to have that talk with her after the message. On the last day, we were both crying and very sad that the week was over because we had become so close. And we stayed in touch and then she got baptized. She had said that she had given her life to Christ due to her camp counselor sizzle at Indian Hills Camp. So I got to witness that. And now currently, I'm a special ed teacher and she works in my classroom as one of my assistants. I had asked if she'd want to come with me and serve together. I came from a family that worked Christian, but I had never been to church before. I was in middle school and I was getting very bullied and my mom told me, hey, you should go to Christian camp because you can find someone that has God in their life and they'll be a good friend to you. I didn't expect to like just feel like this overwhelming love from everyone. I guess you could say yesterday was where I was at when I was in seventh grade. It's a huge full circle moment. <laughs> like My mom even said, you know, I don't think you would be where you are if you hadn't met Erica. So, <laughs> so That's yeah, sweet. It, it's, I love this place yeah. and I'll forever come back whenever I have the opportunity. One of the boys that, um, he's been in a Christian home and he knows kind of the basics of the Christian religion, but he's, I, I'm understanding it more now. And one of the boys asked a very bright question that actually like made me think. He goes, I'm confused. Like, why does God give us all these options of what we want to do, but we can't always do exactly what we want? It was God kind of saying, okay, now's your chance. Like, this is your moment to speak to this kid. It was cool to see their reaction. Like, I understand it. And one of the boys looks at me and he goes, he goes, so this means like you're my big brother in Christ? And I was like, yes, it does. And it's just like, you know, that that moment's like, okay, this is this is awesome. It's definitely a God, a God moment, you know. I just really love the theme of transformed. You know, Romans 12 2 says, but do not be conformed to the patterns of the school, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And that's something that we really got to see this week and in the last few weeks is, is being, well, being transformed. Just to see that transformation in kids was really amazing. And even their parents will attest to it. So it's a cool thing to be a part of, you know, really 
Our job here at camp is to kind of make space for God to move, and God's very faithful to show up and, and move in the hearts of the kids. So, you know, that's our job is to, to get them out here in the nature and let them spend time with the Lord and, and see the transformation that takes place as a result. And it's an awesome thing to be a part of. Camp is awesome. Camp is awesome. Camp is awesome. Camp is awesome. Camp is more than awesome. It's fantastic. Camp is awesome! Camp is awesome! Camp is awesome! Camp is awesome.